Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with another fine episode of MacMost Now. Let's go and take a look at iCal today. Now, one of the coolest features of iCal is the ability to subscribe to calendars. Calendars that aren't necessarily yours. You can subscribe to calendars that are publicly shared on the internet. Let's take a look at exactly what you can do with this feature. So here's iCal. Now, if we go up to the menu into the calendar menu, we find a Find, Share, and Calendars menu item. We go to that and it's going to take us to the web and it's going to take us to a spot on Apple's site. And that this spot lists all sorts of shared calendars. Some of them are made by Apple, some made by other companies. And there's all sorts of things here. There's religious holidays, there's holidays for different countries, there's all sorts of sports teams and their schedules. Now if you want to subscribe to any of these, all you need to do is go ahead and click on the link there. So for instance, here's the DVD new release calendar. Click on that and there it goes. It takes you to a page that tells you more about it and you can go ahead and download it. And what will happen is it will launch iCal if it's not already launched and it will give you a link. Instead of HTTP we've got WebCal and we hit subscribe. And what will happen is it will download the most recent version and it should keep it up to date as it changes. And you'll get a chance to rename it if you want. And now you've got your subscriptions here and you can go ahead and see the different releases. So for this week we've got these new releases coming out. Now there's also a variety of other sites that provide calendars that you could share. Apple site really isn't kept that up to date. So first one I like to go to is one called iCalShare.com. And go to this one and it will list tons and tons and tons of different calendars all by category. Another one I like to go to is called iCal World. Same kind of thing, just some more calendars here. So you can check both places to find different calendars. Now here's something else that's really cool. You can publish your own calendar. So select your calendar and go ahead, go to the calendar menu. Instead of subscribe or find shared calendars, go to publish. And it gives you some options here. You can publish on .Mac or your own private server. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. You can create your own calendar for your favorite sports team or your Little League team and then share it with everybody else on that team. You can also search the internet for calendars you may be interested in. And maybe your own organization or some private organization has their own iCal calendar published only at their website so it's not going to be at one of these other sites. Anyway, this is a very useful thing if you want to subscribe to various calendars, find out what's going on, or if you want to create your own for others to subscribe to. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.